Okay, so now I'm going to try the problem with the subway train, number two. Um, subway train starts from rest, speeds up for 12 seconds. Uh, this is very similar to the problem we did today um, in class. So what we got here is a motion map where the subway train speeds up. So I'll draw some dots. Whoops. There's some dots. Um, these dots will be spread out and then they'll gradually get like closer together in spacing. Okay, the arrows should get shorter as time goes on. Something like that. Those are my velocities. Now I'll draw my accelerations. Okay, I'll just draw dots in the same spot that are a different color and I'll have my accelerations pointing <clears throat> in the opposite direction because the subway Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a second. Um, that's not going to work. Um, let's just clear it all. There we go. So the subway train was actually speeding up. So what I really want is the dots to be close together and then the spacing to increase. Whoops. So it should look something like this, right? And... Um, I'll show my velocity vectors getting longer. Something like that, right? Those are my velocity vectors. Now I'll show my acceleration vectors. And if I'm speeding up, my accelerations really need to point in the same direction as my acceleration. So it'll look something like this. Whoops. And notice my acceleration isn't changing. This is a these are classic constant acceleration problems. Um, okay, so I'll draw a stack of graphs now. And I know that my, uh, let's see, it says the subway train starts from rest and speeds up two meters per second each second, first 12 seconds. All right, so basically I'm given the acceleration, right? So I'll just put units everywhere. Looks like we're in standard SI system as the last problem was. I'm just not going to say that anymore. We're, we're going to stick to the standard SI system for most problems just because it's a lot simpler. Um, it's easier to convert units when you're in the metric system. So um, now I'm looking at an acceleration that's pointed positive direction, right? So what I want is a negative acceleration. There we go. And I also want, let's see, I'm slowing down, but my velocities are positive. What am I doing? Sorry. My acceleration isn't negative. Haha. -ha. I was looking at the motion map and I realized I was wrong. So. That's how motion maps really help me. If, if I make an error, I just, I notice it usually because I got a motion map to, to look at also. Um, if I mess up on the motion map, I'm I can look and see if it's consistent with the graph and if it's not, maybe something's wrong on the motion map. Anyway, so I'm just speeding up. Graph should look like that. And um, speeding up while moving in the positive direction. So my velocities are positive because um, I'm moving in the positive direction. My vectors are all positive. Um, my slope has to just get like steeper on my position time graph, so it'll be a curve that sort of looks like that. Um, so I'm, I'm constantly going back to the problem and rereading it, okay? I don't, you can't see me do that because you're not watching me, but I'm, I'm constantly looking back at the problem and reading it. And this information was given in the problem, 2 meters per second squared. It says... A subway train in Washington, D.C. starts from rest, so the beginning velocity has to be zero, and the subway train speeds up two meters per second each second for 12 seconds. So I'm rereading the problem and putting the information on the graph. Now, this is a bit harder than what I ask you to do on your test tomorrow, but it's really, I think, good for your brain. Um, so this area here, then, is going to be 24 uh, meters per second, right? And that's going to be our change in velocity.
That's going to be um, the area of our acceleration graph, which is our change in velocity. So if I started from rest, that means I started at zero velocity. Um, that means after 12 seconds, my velocity should be um, 24 meters per second, right? So let me see if I can label that, okay? Now it should be pretty easy to find the area of my velocity graph, okay? So the area of my velocity graph is going to be my change in position. And that's going to be 24, uh, that's meters per second times 12 seconds divided by 2, right? So that's going to be 12 times 12, which I think is 144, yeah? And that's going to be 144 meters. So I have actually found my displacement, or the displacement for the subway train. And since the subway train only moved in one direction, it, that's going to be the distance the subway train went, its change in position. So if it started at zero position, you'll notice that the position after 12 seconds should be our 144 meters, okay? So that was the subway train problem. I hope that